There are myriad reasons why getting from Earth to Mars is hard, but chief among them are 1. The massive amount of fuel needed and 2. A launch window that is limited to every 26 months. When the two planets are in optimal alignment, these issues have kept the red planet inaccessible for decades. Until now, researchers have now come up with more affordable ways of going to Mars and the concepts include souped-up Mars helicopters and inexpensive orbiters and landers. So let's talk about these. Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about new, cheaper ways discovered by scientists to probe the red planet. So, if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. While officials at NASA and the European Space Agency, as well as planners in China, plot out ultra-expensive and complicated missions to return samples from Mars, there are an increasing number of researchers blueprinting low-cost and novel ways to further explore the red planet, be it via souped-up helicopters or inexpensive landers and orbiters, they say it's time to script new ways to gather more data from a variety of places on that remote world. How to use relatively low-priced craft for a next round of investigation is backed by Bethany Elman, a planetary scientist at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena. Mars, like Earth, is diverse. Different locales capture different environmental snapshots, Elman stated. There's plenty of exploration to do, she added, citing the possibility of visiting amazing and exotic sites that spacecraft have imaged from orbit, such as the Valles Marineris Canyon system and the Martian polar caps. A system as complicated as Mars requires breadth as well as depth, Elman said. And that means finding new ways to explore at multiple locations by lowering the price per spacecraft mission through technology or new programmatic paradigms and collaborations. Imagine half a dozen mobile Mars explorers operated by universities around the country. That would get students energized about careers in science and engineering. So, after decades of Mars exploration, many of the important questions that remain can be answered only with boots on the ground, be those boots robotic or human. New Space Approaches NASA has always been a very risk-averse agency. This is completely understandable since taxpayer dollars are being spent, said Robert Lillis, Associate Director for Planetary Science and Astrobiology within the Space Sciences Laboratory at the University of California, Berkeley. Lillis points to NASA's Small Innovative Missions for Planetary Exploration Simplex program as a bold effort to facilitate first-rate planetary science at a fraction of the cost of a typical discovery mission. Simplex also serves as a pathfinder to investigate the trade-off between cost and risk, Lillis said. For example, the Escape and Plasma Acceleration and Dynamics Explorers Escapade mission is a Simplex undertaking, one that promises a very good bang for the buck in terms of science per dollar said Lillis, who's Escapade's principal investigator. The total cost of this Mars mission, which is projected to arrive in orbit around the red planet in 2026, is pegged at under $80 million. In addition, the twin Escapade probes will provide a unique stereo perspective to Mars's highly complex upper atmosphere systems, Lillis said. Our two spacecraft, Blue and Gold, will provide us with two pairs of eyes enabling us, for the first time, to understand the real-time response of Mars's patterns of atmospheric loss to the electromagnetic gusts and gales of the solar wind that buffet Mars, he said. Therefore, taking new space approaches to scientific development will allow constellations of small satellites to explore and monitor the Martian atmosphere with unprecedented fidelity and coverage, Lillis said. We'll be able to see all parts of the planet at all times of day, from the surface to the upper atmosphere. Moreover, Lillis added that this kind of situational awareness will be crucial to protect future human explorers in two primary ways. First, better characterization of near-surface air pressure and wind allows for safer entry, descent, and landing. Second, 
Weather monitoring will enable accurate weather forecasting throughout data assimilation. When we talk about weather forecasting on Mars being important for the safety of explorers, we're talking about dust storms, regional or global, Lillis said. Dust storms reduce solar power generation and visibility. Dot the distant planet. A new technology to land on Mars cheaply and safely is the small high-impact energy landing device, SHIELD, concept now under study at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, in Southern California. SHIELD is basically both a lander and a shock absorber in one, said Louis Giersch, the primary investigator for SHIELD. It won't be able to put a spacecraft like the Perseverance rover on the surface, but it could allow scientists to study more of the Martian surface while riding along with larger NASA missions," Giersch added. We're still evaluating what kinds of science instruments make sense, but weather sensors, cameras, and mass spectrometers are all on the drawing board. SHIELD's goal is to reduce Mars lander costs by an order of magnitude, making doable a broad suite of potential missions. For example, the tech could potentially allow NASA to put down dozens of individual robots over a relatively short time span, dotting the distant planet with landers. Giersch said that SHIELD will place more limitations on science payloads relative to more conventional Mars landers. The science payloads will need to be even more compact and rugged, he said, but with the anticipated benefit of more frequent access to the Martian surface as a result of the reduced mission costs. Paradigm Shift The opportunity for low-cost, frequent access to Mars is here, added JPL's Nathan Barba, systems engineer for SHIELD. That door was opened when the Mars Cube 1, Marco, a and B cube seats, nicknamed Eve and Wally, -E, completed a successful flyby of Mars in November 2018. The duo, which cost just $18.5 million for JPL to build and operate, hitched a ride with NASA's InSight Mars lander. Shield could be delivered as a single lander or as many in a single launch. A low-cost lander like SHIELD could enable first-time measurements or pathfinder exploration, like ground-truthing information that is critical for larger, more expensive missions," Barba said. Increased access to space is exciting, Barba continued, because it means more opportunities for science at Mars. So if a new class of lower-cost interplanetary missions were to come to fruition, it would foster an even more diverse set of investigations and provide an opportunity for many new early career scientists and engineers. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.